Out of all the roles Henry Cavill has done, The Witcher and Superman have to be the biggest, and that means a whole lot of comparing too. Ever since he left The Witcher and went back to Superman, people have been non-stop comparing the two characters, and everyone's come to one conclusion. Henry Cavill is way better as The Witcher, and it's not even a competition. Now, let's look at a few reasons why. First up, here's why Henry Cavill is actually better as The Witcher than Superman. Starting off with, he knows and loves the character lore. Although Henry Cavill seemed to have enjoyed his time as Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher. The show itself has always been a bit confusing. Season 1 had its moments, but also took some heat for its confusing storytelling style. And it's not like anyone was expecting top-tier reviews anyway, with the 68% score on Rotten Tomatoes. It was the performances by the actors that kept people watching. But let's be honest, it wasn't the writing that had viewers hooked. He might take a completely different approach, although it could prove risky as viewers may not feel connected to his version of Geralt if it departs from what Cavill did. Although the critics were all in agreement that season 2 was significantly improved and offered a more unified and focused plot, but fans weren't so happy about the new season. The Witcher TV show promised to be an adaptation of the original novels, yet it completely failed in that regard. In a desperate attempt to make up for it, they threw in all kinds of changes, altering certain character fates, changing major storylines, and disregarding the lore altogether. The problem is that the show had no clear direction of what it wanted to be, which was clearly evident in both on-screen and off-screen elements. In sharp contrast, the video games were very clear in their creative goals. They provided a unique spin on the original characters and events while still paying homage to the original books. Unfortunately, the Witcher TV show just could not meet the same level of quality and fell short in its attempt to be a faithful adaptation. Moving on, he just fits Geralt better than Clark. What makes Cavill such a convincing and compelling Geralt? He's basically a walking mountain. The guy is seriously jacked, with arms that look like they could crush an actual tree. But it's not just about the looks. Cavill has charisma in spades. Sure, we were all worried about the wig flying off when season 1 rolled around, but Cavill's screen presence was undeniable. He radiates strength and power, which is exactly what you want out of a monster hunter like Geralt. Cavill is the perfect embodiment of Geralt in every way possible. Not only does he look like the White Wolf, but he manages to capture his complex personality as well. From his dry wit and curious nature, to his underlying sensitivity and hope for a better world. Cavill does an amazing job at portraying a character who can seem so stoic and brutal on the outside, yet is so fragile and insecure deep inside. It's no wonder that Geralt of Rivia has become an iconic character to many fans. Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia is a force to be reckoned with. He might not get the props he deserves, but it's hard to deny that he definitely nails the character in every way. From his subtle gaze and mysterious demeanor, to his moral code and hesitation when making decisions. Cavill totally embodies Geralt, even during season 1 when he spends a lot of time in silence and contemplation. Cavill manages to bring the character to life with ease. Every look, gesture, and reaction from him speaks volumes about Geralt's inner thoughts and feelings. Following up, Cavill portrayed Geralt in a new light. Season 2 of The Witcher gives Henry Cavill the space to explore Geralt's mind even further. We get an intimate look at sides of him that were only hinted at in Season 1, as he takes on his role as a guardian figure for Ciri and struggles with the supposed death of Yennefer. It's clear that Cavill has put in a lot of effort to make sure his portrayal of the character is as true to the books as possible. He's created a compelling and layered version of Geralt that pleasantly surprises viewers. He's not quite your typical hero, but it's that unexpectedness that makes him so endearing. Cavill was like a kid in a candy store when it came to playing Geralt. Sure, he might have taken on the role for the paycheck and added another big name franchise to his resume, but Cavill had a genuine passion for The Witcher that could be seen miles away. He wasn't just going through the motions. He was really invested in the character, and it showed. It's not every day you find an actor who is so passionate about their role. But Cavill truly embraced being Geralt and made sure everyone knew it. Coming up, Geralt's personality is the best part about him. Geralt of Rivia has quickly become an icon for his liberal use of the F word. He certainly wasn't shy about dropping it in any given situation, whether it was a fight or otherwise. His best use of this particular profanity came during his fight with the Striga. After breaking free from Geralt's chains, the creature was met with his most colorful use of the word yet, and it was hilarious. It's clear that Geralt wasn't dropping F-bombs for shock value. It showed a certain level of confidence in himself. He did not back down in any situation and let his opponents know that he was there to fight. Plus, it's a realistic reaction that many of us would have had in that situation, at least for the Witcher anyway. Up next, the fights were better. The life of a Witcher is not exactly easy. Not only do they have to come face to face with some of the most dangerous creatures on 
the continent, but they have to do it with courage and poise. Geralt is no exception. He's as badass as they come when it comes to facing down monsters. But what really sets him apart is how he handles his encounters with the monsters. He never backs down and always stands firm in the face of danger. Even when confronted with these terrifying magical creatures, he shows no trace of fear. In Superman, he's usually fighting humans, and it's really not as exciting as the monsters in The Witcher. Following up, could Liam Hemsworth beat him at Geralt? Liam Hemsworth is no Henry Cavill, that's for sure. Cavill made the Witcher character come alive and had an obvious passion for the project from the get-go. Hemsworth, unfortunately, will be stuck in his shadow. Netflix and The Witcher producers are simply setting him up for a fall here. It'll take an awful lot of hard work and dedication to match Cavill's performance. If he can somehow manage to get Andrzej Sapkowski in a room and rewrite the entire script, then maybe, just maybe, he might be able to pull it off. Otherwise, Hemsworth will always be held up to Cavill's impossible standards. Like Henry Cavill literally read all the books and even played the games multiple times. How was he supposed to match up against that? Coming up, if The Witcher is Cavill's best role, why'd he leave it? Henry Cavill always went on and on about how much he adored The Witcher books and games, so no one was expecting him to leave the show. He said that he felt a special connection with Geralt, but of course, what he really meant was that it was the Geralt from the books that he connected with, not the one from the show. Henry Cavill had previously said he would only sign on for The Witcher's seventh season plan if it stayed true to the books by author Andrzej Sapkowski. When asked whether his character Geralt could join forces with other Witchers in later seasons, Cavill was passionate about making sure that the show remained loyal to the source material and that the plot wouldn't stray from its original path. It seems like season two of The Witcher has already strayed quite far from the books written by Sapkowski. Writer Bo DeMeo's departure shed light on the fact that some of the other writers weren't fans of the original books or games and actually mocked them. It makes sense that Henry Cavill wasn't too keen on staying with the show, considering he's an avid fan of the source material. Plus, Robbie Amell joining the cast as an elf role that isn't part of Sapkowski's original story is further proof that The Witcher Season 3 is going to be different from the books. Showrunner Lauren Schmidt Hisrich and her writing team seem determined to avoid sticking to the source material, which could lead to some serious controversy in future seasons, especially since Cavill won't even be a part of it anymore. Finally, Cavill leaving Geralt could be for the worse. Henry Cavill's portrayal of Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher is nothing short of incredible. Even though the dialogue was minimal throughout season one, Cavill managed to bring out all of the nuances and complexities of the character with just a few grunts and expressions. It became a bit of meme material at one point, but it still goes to show how talented this actor is. He has the ability to make a character shine, even with limited material. Liam Hemsworth taking up the mantle as Geralt of Rivia has caused quite a stir. We all saw what Henry Cavill brought to this character, doing an outstanding job in seasons one and two with excellent chemistry between him, Anya Shalotra, and Freya Allen. It's hard to imagine that any other actor could even come close to Cavill's performance. That being said, Hemsworth may be able to bring something new and exciting to the role. He might take a completely different approach, although it could prove risky as viewers may not feel connected to his version of Geralt if it departs from what Cavill did. After all, we've grown to love Cavill's Geralt and it'll be hard for Hemsworth to replicate the character at that same level. So it seems like we'll just have to wait and see what he brings to the table when season three airs. And with that, that's it for today's video. How did you feel about Henry Cavill leaving the role of Geralt of Rivia? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.